Good afternoon. My name is Levi Samuel and today I would like to talk a little bit about this YouTube channel. Over the past few weeks, I've been pouring over ideas of what I want this channel to be about. In the research that I've done, I've discovered that there's two primary types of content on YouTube. One of them being education, and the other one being entertainment. And while I work in the entertainment industry, I'm really not the most entertaining person. I don't talk fast, I don't really get overly excited about stuff. That's not to say that I don't get passionate about stuff. I, I get passionate about my work. I, I enjoy what I do. I can be extremely passionate about that. I'm a big nerd. I like playing D&D &D and, and similar games. You know, I, I've spent the last 20 years designing a D&D &D style game with my group. I get passionate about things I enjoy doing. LARPing, building motorcycles, writing, sometimes art. I never really wanted to be a professional artist. Necessity kind of took care of that one for me, but really since I'm not the most entertaining person, that means that the education side needs to really be my priority, and since I am a professional writer, I figure education in the writing area is really where I need to be. But one thing that I'd really like to point out is the advice that I give is not a magic bullet. There really is no magic bullet. 20 different authors can try the exact same approach, and I guarantee that almost all of them are going to have a different experience. It's not the same for anybody. And sometimes I talk like things are, you know, matter-of-factly, or this is the only way. And I want to state right here and now that is not the case. The stuff that I say is stuff that I've either tried and has been proven to work for me, or I've done a lot of research on the topic, or listening to other authors who have had similar experience. Really, one of the best teaching methods that I've found, or learning methods anyway, is before I kind of got to do the full-time author thing, which really, I, I didn't really get to do that in the way that I had ex expected to do that. But before that, I was a mechanic. I drove a service truck for almost five years. I was out on the road every day. I was, I was the guy on the side of the highway fixing a big rig that was broke down. In all of that, I had a lot of time to drive. And in driving, I couldn't write. That was a problem for me. I figured I have all of this dead time where I'm going from one location to another. I really needed to find a way to be productive in my writing career. So I started out by just brainstorming. I would think out loud, think through my story ideas, think through my characters. I would think through this stuff, and since I couldn't write it down, I started recording it on my cell phone, and then when I would get home at the end of the day, I would transcribe everything that I'd recorded into a document, and then I could go back and review it, get rid of the trash, and that became habit for a while. But eventually, that really wasn't enough, so I started looking for podcasts and other YouTube channels of people talking on the subject. And over months of listening to all the content I could find, I started picking out key details that everybody was saying. And I started seeing the pattern in that. When everybody's saying the same thing, that means that there's really something there. So I started focusing and researching on that stuff. And over time, I ended up really just things started clicking into place. And I got to where I was able to start helping my fellow authors with the same things I'd already struggled with. Now, most authors do good to sell about 200 of their books. 200's kind of the magic number there, because that's about how many people an individual knows. If you write a book, you market it and sell it to your friends and your family, and it makes some rounds, and most books sell about 200 copies in their life. That's not very good for longevity. Now, whenever you start expanding further, you start making appearances, you start going to conventions, you start really getting into the marketing side of things, those numbers up. And your books will start reaching people that you don't know. And if you're lucky, people are leaving reviews. Really, there's a lot to that. But whenever that starts happening, that's when you're going to start growing. Your books will start to expand beyond the 200-person network that you've acquired over your life. But being the fact that I am a nobody author, really, it, there's no reason anybody should listen to anything I have to say. 
And I'm kind of cutting my own throat with that one, but it's true. The only thing that I can say is I've spent years studying this stuff. I've researched everything that I can think to research. I've tried to learn the different angles. There's been so many mistakes that I've made in my career, and I, I made those mistakes out of ignorance. I didn't know why things were done a certain way, so I just kind of did it the best I could. And then later on, once I gained that experience, I kind of saw where the mistakes were. But I'm still going to make more. It's, it's the name of the game. Really, with this YouTube channel, I want to pass the experience that I've gained along to others who haven't had the chance to make those mistakes yet. And unfortunately, that's kind of a catch-22. I'm a nobody author. I haven't made a lot of success in my career thus far. But I have gained a lot of experience, and I've made a lot of mistakes. And if you have any reason to be here to listen to anything I've got to say, just simply take it that I'm trying to pass my mistakes along to you so you can understand what to do and what not to do. And you know what? Experience is earned through making mistakes. So if you don't like something I've said, by all means, try it. See what happens. You may have a different result. But I'm not going to pass information to jeopardize any of you. We're not in a competition. In the numerous radio interviews I've done and uh, podcasts and, and other stuff and places where I've talked with others, that's one question that I've been asked almost every time is, do I compete with my fellow authors? And the answer to that, no. Anyway, I've probably rambled on enough for this. Just know I'm going to keep trying to drop videos about every two weeks. I'm going to keep trying to provide the information that I've gained thus far, and I'm going to try to get basically as much out of my head as I can. If I've learned something, I'm going to try to pass it along. Sometimes it's just a matter of deciding what to make a video about, and if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. If I don't know the answers, I'll research them, and I'll try to do a video on that topic. Thanks for listening. Really, thanks for being here in general. If you would, give me a like and a subscribe. If you want to check into any of my work, you can find most of my stuff on Amazon under Levi Samuel. And have a good day. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.